In this video, we're going to talk about input function. When we want to receive something from the user, we use the input function. We know that when we want to print out something in the terminal, we use the print function. For example, we say print, and this print function receives an string. For example, we say enter your name. So now if I run this program, it will output this string in the terminal, enter your name. I'm going to save it, run it, there you go. It printed enter your name. And here our program terminated. We want our program not to be terminated here and wait to use it to enter the data we want. So for example here, the program don't terminate and wait for the user to enter its name. So we use the input function. For example, we say input open close parentheses this is a function and now when I save and run this program this program will wait for the user to enter the name so if I run it there you go. enter your name and our program waited for the user to enter his name for example I want to say Bob hit the enter the program terminated we want to store this data that user entered into a variable so before this input function I want to say name and assign variable input function. This input function will receive some data from the user and assign those data into this variable name. And now we want to print those data. So for example, here, I'm going to say print, and inside that, I'm going to say name. I'm going to save it, run it. There you go, enter your name. I'm going to say Bob, hit the enter. It printed Bob. So, or I can say here, I'm going to use a string, inside this string I'm going to say your name is the value of this variable. So if I save it, run it, enter your name, I'm going to say Bob, hit enter, it printed your name is Bob. So I'm going to delete this space here, run it, Bob, your name is Bob. Also, we can use this string inside this input function and we don't need to this print function anymore. So here I can say enter your name and I'm going to delete this. So if I save it, run the program, it shows here, enter your name, I'm going to say Bob, hit the enter. It printed your name is Bob. So here I want to say variable age, assign variable, input function. Inside that I want to say enter your age. So after this print function, I'm going to print the age of this person. So I'm going to say print. And inside that I'm going to say your age is. So here I want to use this variable age. So I want to save it, run it. Enter your name, I'm going to say Bob, hit enter, enter your age, I'm going to say for example 31, hit enter, it printed, your name is Bob, your age is 21. One important thing about this input function is that this input function will generate a string. So here when we enter our age and this input function will assign a string to this age variable. So here if I want to know the type of this age, it will be an string, it's not an integer. So here if I say print and inside that I use this type function and inside this type function I'm going to say age, save it, run it, I'm going to say Bob, 31, hit the enter, your age is 31 and the type of this age is, as you know, class is the R. The type of this age is is the R. So it is a little bit confusing. So here if I say inside this print function, the next year you will be, so here I'm going to say, age plus one and here i'm going to use comma as we told the type of this age is a string it's not a number and we plus one number to this string it will shows an error because we cannot sum an a string with a number so if i save it run it enter your name i want to say bob enter your age 31 hit the enter there you go it shows an error type error can only concatenate is to r to is to r not integer it means that the type of this age is a string 
this input function will generate a string every time it will generate an string and the type of this age is an string so what should we do here so here we should change the type of this age into integer so here i want to say number age i want to assign int function inside that i want to say age with this int function this is also a function that changes the type of a string to integer or float to integer or other data type so here the type of this age is a string and we use it inside this integer function this int function will change the type of this age and assign it to this number age and now here i'm going to use number age plus one so if i save it run it i want to say bob 31 i hit printed the next year you'll be 32. i forget the word year here here i want to say year save it run it again bob 31 the next year you will be 32. or we can use the int function directly here i want to delete this I'm going to use the whole input function inside the int function. So I want to cut this. And here I want to say int function. And inside this int function, I want to use the input function. So this input function will generate a string. And it will be automatically converted into an integer. Because we use this input function inside the int function. And this integer will be assigned to age. So here I want to say age. Save it. Let's run. Bob 31 your name is Bob your age is 31 the next year you will be 32 as you can see it works correctly so to sum up when we want to something print out in the terminal we use the print function and when we want to receive something from the user we use the input function and this input function always will return a string and sometimes we need to use the int function if the data this input function returns will be a number so this is the basic program about the input function See you next video and bye for now.